Chapter 15 is about managing strategic change. Strategic management invariably involves change for people working in organizations. Sometimes they resist such proposals and make strategy difficult to implement. Sometimes they are enthusiastic and make a significant contribution to the proposed developments. Understanding and exploring the impact of change on people is therefore important for strategy development. As a starting point, it's useful to analyze the causes of strategic change and define strategic change itself. Then it's important to understand the dynamics of a change process in the context of the strategies proposed. This can be used to suggest how a change process can be managed in principle. Finally, a strategic change program can be developed either on a one-off or a rolling basis. These are the topics explored in this chapter. Let's begin by defining the topic. Strategic change is the implementation of new strategies that involve substantive changes beyond the normal routines of the organization. It can be seen as the proactive management of change in an organization. In managing strategic change, it's useful to draw a distinction between prescriptive and emergent approaches. Prescriptive approaches involve the planned action necessary to achieve the changes. The changes may be imposed on those who will implement them. Emergent approaches involve the whole process of developing the strategy as well as the implementation phase. This approach will also involve consultation and discussion with those who will subsequently be implementing the change. To explore the dynamics of strategic change, it's important to recognize that it is concerned with people and their tasks. This is undertaken through formal and informal structures in, in the organization. Understanding the pressure points for influencing change is important if change is to be effective. Strategic change is important because it may involve major disruption and people may resist its consequences. Even where change is readily accepted, the changes will take time and careful thought. What causes strategic change? There are four main areas. Changes in the outside environment, changes in business relationships, technology, and new entrants to the organization, especially a new leader. In managing prescriptive change, there are at least two approaches. And there are another two approaches in the chapter for managing emergent change. Let's deal first with prescriptive change. Cantor, Stein and Jick recommend a three-stage approach. Essentially, the route is a top-down guide to managing planned change and its consequences throughout the organization. As an alternative, Lewin developed a three-stage model for the prescriptive change process. Part 1, unfreezing current attitudes. Part 2, moving to a new level. And part 3, refreezing attitudes at the new level. This model has been widely used to analyze and manage strategic change. Prescriptive models of change work best where it is possible to move clearly from one state to another. In times of rapid change, such clarity may be difficult to find, and such models may be inappropriate. There are a number of emergent approaches to strategic change. The two explored in the chapter concentrate on the longer-term learning culture's route to change. According to Peter Senge, the learning organization does not suddenly adapt, adopt strategic change, but it is perpetually seeking it. Therefore, the organization is using its learning, experimentation and communications to renew itself constantly. Strategic change is therefore an emergent, constant process. Related to this, but different from it, Pettigrew and Whip's empirical study of strategic change identified five factors in the successful management of the emergent process. These were 
environment assessment, leadership of change, the link between strategic and operational change, human resource aspects, and coherence in the management of the process. Emergent models of strategic change take a long-term approach and may have limited usefulness when the organization faces a short-term strategic crisis. Finally, it's worth considering the politics of strategic change. This topic is essentially about the persuasion of those involved to adopt the new strategy recommendations. This may include identifying supporters of the new strategies, attempting to change opposition views, and building the maximum consensus for the new proposals. Preferably, this should be undertaken prior to any decision-making.